Well, good morning, good morning, Bumpy Frog Fishers. We're back on the lake today, and I'm gonna tell you, it's been a, I've been off on vacation this week, and it's been a, it's been a rough three days. Uh, we've had uh, about two inches of rain come in. The temperatures dropped down at night, it'd get down to probably 35, 40 degrees. Uh, so a lot of people say the fish are on the bank. A lot of people say they're not. Uh, I caught, caught two fish yesterday. I was on the bank in deep water. I took my brother fishing, uh, on the first trip, we caught 25 or 30. Couldn't get any video because we weren't live scoping. We were fishing around, do some, doing some uh, dock fishing. And when it's, it's really hard to get a uh, uh, live scope videos doing that. But uh, went out yesterday, and uh, there I went to a, a lake that's uh, well known for being kind of dingy. But anyway, uh, we had so much rain that the uh, water was so muddy. I saw three raccoons walk across the lake. Didn't get the fur wet. It was that muddy. <laughs> no, not really. It was. It was really muddy. And uh, I'm telling you, I caught. I caught three fish. So didn't get but uh, a little bit of live scope footage. 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 That's kind of cold this morning. Uh, didn't get but uh, three live scope uh, footage of that. So we're out on the lake again today. It's. Uh, it's a little. It's a little muddy. You can tell. But we're gonna do the best that we can do trying to. Trying to get some content for y'all out there. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also leave a comment down on the bottom. And there's going to be something special at the end of this video. I'm going to do it. This is going to be a kind of a, a catch, clean, and cook. I'm not going to do a lot of cleaning because everybody knows how to catch, uh, how, how to clean crappie, you know, fillet. But I have uh, two special things for all of my Bumpy Frog Fishing uh, members here, subscribers. Uh, we're going to do a Bumpy, uh, bumpy Frog Fishing uh, coleslaw and a Bumpy Frog hush puppy recipe that i'm telling you both of them are out of this world and you just can't don't please don't miss this video uh all the way to the end because i'm gonna tell you you're gonna rant and rave about this hush puppy and this coleslaw recipe so stay tuned with us and we'll see if we can get y'all some hot content all right bumpy frog fishing got a few fish to clean today and and i and like i said at the first of the video i'm going to catch clean and and uh and cook some fish but the real reason you really need to, to hang on to the end of this video, because I'm going to share two secret recipes with you. One of them is Bumpy Frog's uh, hush puppy recipe. I'm going to tell you now, if you miss out on that, that hush puppy recipe, and I'm telling you, these hush puppies, man, I, I get people ask me all the time, man, how do you make them hush puppies? How do you make them hush puppies? But it's a coleslaw recipe that I guarantee you, it is the best coleslaw recipe will ever put in your mouth and i'm going to give you that video also if you just hang around to the end of this video and just remember guys always try to like subscribe and share this video and please leave a few comments down at the end uh down at the bottom of the of the uh, video and i'll try to get back to you so we're going to get on here and start start today in a couple of these old white perch here Still got the eggs in them. Look at this old big old wumpy jaw here, it's full of eggs. Little, little bitty fish. Look at that little old thing right there. 
goodness gracious, that thing ain't big as a, look at that, look at that little thing, it ain't big as a minute. All right, that first one in the boat, he ain't too bad, he's uh, hopefully it'll get a little bit bigger. Boy, they call me the boo boy. Uh huh. Oh, goo man. Goo man, too. All right, here we go. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to change. I hate to change jig colors, but. This jig color just, they just not seeing it in this muddy, muddy water. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, he didn't, he didn't want that at all. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. Ooh, and he swung and he missed it. Ah, he got it that time. He ain't that big. He a little bitty old thing. Uh, uh, he'll he'll make the team today since it's so hard today. Wind's blowing so hard. I got. I think I got too much weight on there. Swinging past him too fast. or two and where I can just dangle it right in front of his head. All right, let's see if we can get him with this one. He ain't a great big one, but... There he goes. Oh, and he got off. Look at him going back down to hide. Uh, yeah, come on in here, boy. Pitch a little, little cork and dig up there on the bank. Stay right there, fish. Come on, get it. There it goes, oh, and he missed it. Uh, why is it always missed the first fish of the day? Uh, 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 uh. Got my line all tangled up. Mm, I'm all bamboozled. There he is, if we hit him again. He didn't miss it that time. He's a little bitty feller, though. That little. That 
little at all. Come on in here, boy. Get in here. Oh, that's a magnolia crappie. Those of y'all don't know what a magnolia crappie is, he's got that long black stripe on his nose. And the rule is, if you catch a magnolia crappie, that's the one with the long black stripe on his nose right there, you gotta, you gotta kiss him. Or you won't have very good luck the rest of the day. fish or one fish, but we're going to try to get on him. One of them left and went the other way. Come on, he sees it. Come on, there he comes. There he goes. He got, oh, and he got off. Golly. That was a good fish, too. Let me go try to catch this other one out here. Yeah. If I drop back down on him and see, he didn't really get a big hook set, but he got enough, I think. He wants to try it again. Yeah, he didn't try it too long that time, did he? Nope, nope, nope. But he'll do. He will make the team today. And he got off. You believe that? Boy, what is my? I gotta check my hook. All right, guys. What I did? I just lost that fish, and I just took and uh, took a little pair of pliers and bent on there. That's old Billy jig right there. Coming soon to you. Got my got my bait mold in. Finna start making a bunch of them, and I'll have them on the have a uh, on the YouTube soon. So, anyway, I just bent that hook out just a little bit, just so it'll get a little more sticky. All right, here, let's try again. I'm gonna hit that thing, boy. Uh, he got it, y'all. He got it. He couldn't stand it. He couldn't stand it when I thumped it. All right, I got it. Oh, golly. Oh, I just swing again on him. Oh, like I got him in the boat, y'all. Y'all see me do that Thomas Jackson rod thump. Look at that old bad boy there. Mm -hmm. I took that rod, went thump, 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 and he just couldn't stand that thump. Mm. Golly, what a crappie. Come on, big boy.
big boy. Get in here. Get out of here. These things just ain't hitting it that hard. They ain't wanting it today. Now he's running from it now. Uh, see if he'll come back at it. Back at it. See if he'll take it. Fishing all the way behind me in case y'all wonder where I'm at. Fishing behind the back of the boat trying to get this fish. This fish is right up. He's 10 foot behind the boat. So I'm going to turn around and try to keep my scope on him. Let him make a move first. If he's just sitting still, see if I can pop on him right, right where he's out too far from him. Let's see how far this is. It's still too far from him. Let's see if I can get on him here. No, he done paddled up. Now, come on, bitch, turn around. This might do it. Oh, we're close to him now. Bounce it back to him a little bit. There he goes. Ooh, man, what I did to catch that fish for, for this content. Goodness gracious. And I, I went on around the world to catch this fish. Come on in here, boy. Get in this Get on in there on top of him. I don't want to miss this old boy here. He's just sitting there playing dead. You want to see how dead he's going to be? too close to him. Get close 
for that though. I splashed the water like an idiot. I'm surprised he didn't break and run. Come on, fish, wake up. Snuck it in on him that time, maybe that'll be the ticket. I'm gonna see it. Look at it. I think that fish is asleep. Wake up, boy. He's just sitting there. Maybe he is asleep. Bump it all around his nose this go around. <laughs> I thought I hit him then. This fish is just, I don't know about him. Y'all think this fish is, is uh, he's sleeping? What's up, what's up with y'all? Y'all leave a comment in the bottom down there if y'all think this fish is, is sleeping or what the deal with him is. There he goes, he ain't asleep now. He ain't asleep now, he got a hook in his rear end. Oh, he was, I think he was taking a nap, guy. I really do. Come on here. All right, all right, get in there, boy, get in there. Sleepy Joe. That was a terrible joke, wasn't it? Sleepy Joe, we called that fish Sleepy Joe. If I'm bouncing there between these two here. I give him a fight over it. There he goes. I wonder I wanted it. I wanted it for sure. He wanted it for sure. He got mad with, with, with that other one. He said, I want it. All right, I just got through. Oh, look at this right here. Look at this right here. I was doing some perspective mode. And look what I hooked up on. I hooked up on me a big old bass. Oh, look at that big old bass right there. Let me see if I can get him in the net. Ah! Woo! Yeah, big old bass. Perspective mode. All right, we just had us a look at that. Look at that big old oh, bass on oh, perspective mode. I'm sitting there trying to sitting there trying to uh, film some stuff, and uh, I looked and I saw him on perspective. And I said, "Well, let me see what that's a big old crappie." It wasn't a crappie; it was a big old bass. Damn my, yep, big old bass. My, my daddy used to call him Ernest T. Because if you ever watched uh, uh, Andy Griffith, Ernest T. Bass was his name on Andy Griffith's show. Ernest T.
Here, I think I'm on his backside. There we go. I'm on his front side now. Side with the teeth. There he goes. He's got it. He has got that rascal. Oh, yeah, he got it. Come on in here, big boy. Oh, yeah. All right, there, yeah, buddy. It's lunchtime with the Viennese sausage. Yee haw. Ooh, man, that's good. Get one of these little, one of these little cocky tail wieners out of there. Look at that right now. Um, mm, that's a bone. Put that on a cracker, dude. And look at here. I just so happen to have a wrist cracker. Mmm. That's a good lunch there. Oh, good cool that do it. Mm. Where you at, boy? That's a big one there. That's a good old, good golly. What a crappie. Come on up in here. Uh oh. I want to grab him, brother, brother, brother. Oh, man. Whoo, good golly. What a crappie. Mm -mm. Ooh look at the shoulders on that bad boy. Mm -hmm. Two or three. Down at the very base of that tree. I don't think I can hit him. He's a, that other one was a good one. See if I can put it right down on top of his old noggin. He's on the other side of the tree. See if I can go on the other side of it and get him. Right with a fisherman. Down at the bottom, bottom of that tree back there. I'm pitching right behind my back. Can you see my jig? Where's my jig? Where's my dig? I can't. I, I, I hate to lose these old fishies. All right, let's see if we can get them out there like that. There we go.
there he is. Got him. And he got off. <laughs> well, uh, if y'all camera people wasn't here. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. up in that little old stump right there. Oh, I seen him on the right hand side over there. There he comes. Oh, I knew he was in there. No, I ain't got no I ain't got no billy bait left on my jig. My poor old Poor Billy Bait. They done eat all the tail off of him. Poor little Billy Bait. Glad I know where some more at. Like a good fish right here. I'll get my jig on, huh? Don't run off. I ain't too proud to beg now. Get on him. I can catch him. The trick gonna be to get on him. Not bumping him or See if I can get a good drop on him. That might be it right there. If I can just get right up on him. There. He sees it. Oh, he got it, y'all. Oh, and he got off. Ah. I saw you sitting in that little old tree. I saw you sitting on top of that little old tree. Come on here, boy. Come on. Come on here. Yeah. All right. He's a little bitty one. Good one right there. If I can find my jig now. Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, good gracious alive. He sung out some drag. And he got off. How about that? Lord of mercy. I feel my temperature rising. Buffalo or something where he was bowled up. All right, now we're going to start on the uh, bumpy frog uh, hush puppy recipe. Uh, the ingredients are: you take two cups of self-rising cornmeal, two cups of self-rising cornmeal. Uh, we're going to put an egg in. Ready. Uh, we're going to use one cup of self-rising flour. And what this is going to do, it's going to, it's going to make the hush puppies, when you put them in the grease, it's going to make them puff up. So, you know, they, they won't be as dense as normal hush puppies. All right. And after that, we're going to put in a can of Mexican corn. It's a small can of Mexican corn. Uh, we got a, a half a cup of uh, white onion chopped up. And we got uh, one uh, chopped jalapeno pepper in there. If you like it hotter, you can put two of them in there. Put that in there. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get some Cajun two-step just to put a little Cajun seasoning in there with it. It's maybe two teaspoons. And all it's going to probably do is just tinge the color up just a little bit orange. All right. And we're going to just kind of stir this up a little bit, get that egg mixed in. Fold it over. Right, you see everything starting to come together down in there. No egg done got her, a piece of that egg right there. I right, know we're gonna just put some milk in there. And milk is probably gonna be a cup and a half, two cups somewhere. I really don't know. What you do is you pour some in there, stir it up a little bit until you get to the consistency that you like. And I'll show you the consistency that, that I like to put it at. And that's too thick, so we're gonna have to add some more milk. A little bit at a time. Get a wig. They starting to come together now. Still a little thick. Well, let's see. And if you put this in a refrigerator before you, before you say if you make it that morning, you're going to have it that afternoon. You're going to have to add a little milk to it before you. Before you, you see, I just got a little orange tint. That's from the the uh, Cajun two step. Give it a good flavor. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you what we'll get a spoon. We we'll use a teaspoon to do this with. And what you're gonna want to do is when you when you get ready to to put your hush puppies in and you stir them up and you get you a teaspoon about like this right here and you just drop them in there just like that right there. I'm going to show you again. Get you a little teaspoon in there. Do it like that and just drop them in the grease just like that right there. 
And this is pretty good consistency right here. This is what I would probably shoot for. You can always, like I said, if you put it in the refrigerator, it's gonna, or leave it out on the counter for a couple of hours or an hour, it's gonna dry out. You're gonna have to add a little bit more. But this is just about the consistency. So again, take you a, a teaspoon, do it a teaspoonful, drop it down in the grease, just like that right there. And that's just it. And we're gonna cook some up this afternoon and I'll show you what they look like when they get all, all fried up. Okay. All right, welcome Bucky Frog Fishing. Today is the day that you're gonna get two recipes. One of them is gonna be a Bumpy Frog's, uh, Bumpy Frog's coleslaw recipe, and we're gonna start that right now, and then we're gonna follow up with a Bumpy Frog's uh, hush puppy recipe. So we're gonna have to do this right quick, and we're going to, uh, you, you have to do it in these steps. If you don't do it in these steps, it's, uh, it's gonna be not right. So what we're gonna do first, we're going to add, uh, a cup and a half of mayonnaise, blue plate mayonnaise into a bowl. All right. The next ingredient is going to be a half a cup of sugar. If you try to add this while you have your, uh, your coleslaw, it's going to be one big, one big mess. So, all right, uh, we're going to add in a quarter of a cup. Now I'm gonna leave all these ingredients down in the in the uh in the in the bottom of the video, and then of course I'm gonna put them on screen too, so you can just screenshot. Them. So we got a, a quarter cup of white vinegar. Uh, let's see, we have one teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And the thing about it, you have to get the mayonnaise mixed in with the uh with the sugar if you don't it's going to be it's going to be granular tasting and you don't want that all right next is going to be two teaspoons of lowry seasoned salt and don't go out and buy this regular seasoned salt it, this recipe will not turn out like it's supposed to so make sure that you get lowry seasoned salt that's going to be two teaspoons of lowry seasoned salt and then we're going to need uh three quarters of a cup of chopped onions put that in there you can use yellow onions uh, or white onions. I like to use the white onions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get us a big old spoon. And we're gonna stir all this up until we melt all of the, uh, we melt all of the sugar down in there. You can hear it, hear it granulated down there. You wanna make sure that all of that is good. I'm gonna tell you, This is one of the best coleslaw recipes you can actually ever put in your mouth. Keep mixing, put a little heat in there with your spoon going around until you don't hear all of that grinding. All right, you can stop hearing some of that grinding now. So that means that the sugar has been melted. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to take have two bags of uh, tricolor coleslaw. You can cut up your coleslaw and your carrots and, and, and all that if you want to. It's just too easy to get two of these bags. And these are uh, uh, one pound bags. So it's gonna be two pounds of coleslaw mix. Like this, pour it into the, into the mixture. Got one more. Get all this stuff at your, your friendly neighborhood box store. I don't mention any names. That's going to be almost full. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to start turning it over. Get all of this mixed in. And I'm going to tell you when you you ever cook mustard greens and you fill up a whole pot of mustard greens and then when you get through cooking all your mustard greens you wonder where all your mustard greens went because they all just dissolve down to nothing this is going to be the same thing it looks like it's going to be a really a whole lot but it's, it's going to it's going to this is going to reduce down to probably half you can see it getting smaller as we go what you want to do is just incorporate all of that mixture down in there into this coleslaw and the secret of it is Here's the Bumpy Frog secret. 
put it in the refrigerator and I, it's really, really, really hard to, to let it sit overnight. It's almost impossible because man, I'm gonna put this on a cracker right now. But what you need to do is stir it all up and you don't have any juice in there right now. There's zero amount of juice. Come up here and look in here, bottom up here, um, Dixie. This is my wife, Dixie, Bumpy Frog, Dixie over here. You can see there's no juice in the bottom of this right now. But after a couple of hours of sitting in that refrigerator, it's going to be probably an inch, inch or two of a, of, of a liquid in there. You can see it's starting to, starting to liquid up right now. And you just put some aluminum foil or some saran wrap over the top of it. Put it in the refrigerator. And I'm going to tell you, when you do this right here next go around in about an hour or two, it's going to be full of juice. And I'm going to tell you, you put that juice over, over some of these hush puppies we're going to make. Oh, man. Uh, sauce it bomb. Put that on that cracker. All right. Now, what we're going to do now is, is we're going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator and try to let it set overnight. We're going to have a fish fry tonight, so I am pretty much guarantee you it's not going to be there in the morning. We're going to eat it all tonight. So, But it'll, uh, it'll do what it needs to do in a couple of hours. It's just better to leave it overnight. It's really better tomorrow, but... You can see it's pretty pretty juicy in there now. It's ready to eat right now. But I'm going to tell you that right there. Bump your frog coleslaw. All right. All right, getting ready to fry these hush puppies up. About the consistency you wanted that right there. Would have just come off the spoon. Get you a, a heaping teaspoon right here. And drop it in the grease. Another teaspoon. Drop it in the grease. A teaspoon. Drop it in the grease. Spoon, pop it in the grease. Alright, we'll let them fry up here. We've got an automatic built in turner over on them. Well, you don't have to really flip them. They'll flip this up when they get ready. They got quite enough oil in there, so I'm gonna flip them for them, tip them out a little bit. I'm gonna get them a golden brown. Doesn't take just a couple of minutes. You see, they're kind of none of them all look they look the same, and they all. Got a good consistency to it. Right, they're all floating real good, so these little peppers are done. and grab one of them right now it's coming out of that hot grease Ooh, we they good what you put that coleslaw on them there they go finished product Uh, all right, guys, we got all the stuff done. Uh, here's the coleslaw I was talking about, the bumpy frog coleslaw. You see all that juice down in there? You see, it didn't it didn't make a whole lot. It's just like uh, I told you, it's just like mustard greens when you cook a lot. But you see that juice down in there? Man, you're talking about some fine stuff. In the in the hush puppies, look at this right here. This hush puppy right here. Ooh, we you talking about some kind of good? And of course, we got some fried crappie down here too that we caught yesterday. So. Here you go, look, look at this one right here, watch this. 
Mm -hmm. Look at that right there. Got the jalapenos in there. Got the corn in there. We're ready to go. Rock and roll. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down at the bottom if you have any questions about any of these recipes. Remember, take a kid fishing with you.